What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to a World Cup special episode with my home nation Hungary. I'm rocking the Hungary shirt and this is of course the prerequisite to season 5 of the FIFA 23 Liverpool Career Mode Show. So let me know down below your suggestions for transfers for season signs, season 5 besides Alexis McAllister because I think it's pretty nailed on that Liverpool will sign him, touch wood. But now now let's focus on Hungary. We have a pretty tough group with Argentina, Morocco who went really far in the World Cup the last time and Argentina of course the eventual winners. So they are the holders. This is the 2026 World Cup and with Iceland. We have to beat Iceland and Morocco if we want to qualify and Hungary haven't been to a World Cup since 1986 but we have qualified for two straight Euros. So we are making history by even being in this competition. Minimum aim is of course to qualify for the knockout stages some way or the other and even though we have been developing and growing young players only one youth academy player is good enough to play in the starting lineup but we have a couple of free youth academy players to be exact on the bench who are pretty much good enough to play for us but we yeah, this Hungary team still needs development and we have a pretty solid defense though and Sobosla is our star player is banging the goals for Leipzig our first game is against Iceland on paper this is the easiest game of the group so we have to start off with the victory let's go well this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to a lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension packed occasion we'll have every kick of the ball for you live welcome to the first game of the world cup the confetti is out and the half of the stadium is full of hungry fans so i hope that we can put on a great show for them god's dog go on god's dog into the advanced position and Sobosli! Yes! What a start! That is the dream start to our World Cup campaign! Dominic Sobosli, our talisman, our most important and most valuable player, gets us off to a great start. Brilliant pass inside and look at the clinical finishing. That's what's needed in a World Cup. And I, that's why I'm playing Dominic Sobosli in the attacking midfield spot. Hopefully we will we, we get a lot of chances. Lot of oh no, the winger is in. Gulacci, Gulacci, don't you dare! Oh, come on, Gulacci just stands on his line! The ball was right there. Why didn't Gulacci go out to the guy to close him down here? Gulacci took, takes so long to, to go out to him and in the end, the ball, the goal is in because the Gulacci left his goal. I blocked the first shot but couldn't do anything with the rebound. Oh, a fine block. Gulacci, oh, nice. Gulacci again, oh, wow. Go on. Tremendous ball played through. Styles to Sebastian! We are back in the front and it's a dead man again! Dominic Sobosly scores and Styles, Callum Styles, who has I think a Hungarian grandmother, but he's English by the way, and he's playing for Millwall in real life. That was a brilliant run and Sobosly scores the easiest goal of his career. Sobosly! to Rajic and spray on Rajic the striker who is a young talent he's still growing and improving but he has 79 finishing he's a little bit small for my liking for a striker but he's very fast agile skillful and he took it down and then buried it get him a free one what a start to our world cup campaign so far so good Kerkes, Kozdog, Regic, Sobosly, oh, Sobosly, Farkas, and Regic, what a goal, even though he's injured, he scores a banger, into 
to the top corner and goal difference might be important in this World Cup group. Regic has just announced himself to the world, the Hungarian youngster. And this second one is the best of the bunch. Last 15 minutes of action. Go on. Shalai. Name it. Farkas. That is another Farkas. Five. He just came on as a substitute. And I can't believe that we have smashed five goals past Iceland. Yes, they are the poorest team in this World Cup campaign. But whatever happens, I'm so proud because Hungary, the minnows, are winning 5-1. The whole world will take notice when they see this scoreline. Oh. Oh, Farkas takes it down. This is unbelievable. It's 6-1. What on earth is happening? On ultimate difficulty, we just destroyed Iceland. What a first touch by Farkas. And what a finish. This first touch and then the finish is absolutely out of this world. We had another Farkas starting who is a left winger. But this guy only has 72 finishing. If you look up World Cup records, actually Hungary has the biggest win ever recorded in World Cup history. I think we beat El Salvador 11-0 or something crazy like that. So we are a long way off from recording the biggest win in World Cup history. We overshot our XG by a big margin, three and a half XG we had, but we scored 10 uh, sorry, six goals and the second half we completely were dominating Iceland and we hammered home our advantage brilliant and I honestly expected a lot more Difficult game, but I think I got the hang of playing with this Hungary team Regic the striker was the man of the match, but he pulled the muscle So that might be his first and last World Cup game for a long time and this guy announced himself as a substitute brilliantly. And Soboslai, of course, our talisman. Oh, this is really bad news. Regic's World Cup campaign is over. After scoring two goals, he will miss the whole tournament, pretty much. Unless we make the final or something, but I can't see that happening. Or the semi-finals, but that would be a miracle. As expected, Argentina beat Morocco. So if we beat Morocco as well, we are through to the knockout stages of the World Cup. So Nemeth replaces uh, Regic, who is playing for Hamburg Nemeth. So let's see how good he is. And this Morocco team is amazing. So <laughs> this will be a tough game. They have a world-class defense fans and were very very good strike force as well so this will be a big challenge welcome to the hungary morocco game uh, this is going to be a huge huge game because morocco lost they have to win and if we win we are through to the knockout stages oh wow one of morocco's players hakimi who is one of their best players is injured and he has to be substituted i just got the ball and yeah it's just coming together and hakimi twists his ankle and stays down Gazdag if I play this right Gazdag could be in Gazdag Gazdag please yes Gazdag oh my goodness he's playing in the MLS for Philadelphia Union and they were in the final where only Gallup Bales LA Galaxy beat them and Gazdag was one of the top scorers of the league so you if you watch the MLS you might be familiar with him oh Soboslai absolutely brilliant tackle please Kerkes and Gazdag again and Gazdag scores again Absolutely insane! What a start to this game! We are turning up and that back heel by Kerkez, who is now a Liverpool player, is just mesmerizing and look how I think Farkas, the youth player, jumps over the shot. He almost blocks it. No, no. Munir. And a Siri, why did I leave him? But yes, it's offside. The linesman has his flag up. We are saved by offside. Thank you, linesman. Ooh, it, this must have been very close. It is mightily close. We got away with one. The counter is on because Schaefer, Schaefer, the defensive midfielder. Please. Oh my goodness. 
Someone slay, please, someone slay! Oh no, Masrohi, oh my goodness, he's really good. <gasps> he's in! Don't let him! Oh no, MSCRE, come on, I couldn't block the shot. And this is exactly what we wanted to avoid, an early goal in the second half for Morocco. I got the ball there, but then I blocked the shot and MSCRE squeezes it past my defender. No. No. Oh, come on, Gulachi, with a huge save. Well, at least he hit the target, but he should And Gazdag is away. Go on, Gazdag. should be level now. Please, someone slay! What a run! Someone slay! Yes! It's, it's unbelievable! Dominic someone slay! Three goals in two games, and he was just quicker and faster than the centre back. Shalai. Shalai. Varga. Varga, he chips the keeper! Ah, the goal! This is an amazing goal! And it's another youth academy player coming on as a substitute, scoring one of the best goals of the World Cup so far. What a chip! And the defender couldn't get back. Oh, that is glorious! Bola. And providing width. Shalui to Farkash offside. Unlucky. No way. No way. Oh. This is a historic World Cup campaign already for Hungary, scoring 10 goals in two group stage games. Not many teams have done that before. And we dominated the game. We played Morocco off the park. As you can see, even though they had a great defense starting, Hakimi getting injured was a big blow for them, I think. And Gazdag was the man of the match. Only 76 rated, but he plays like a much better player and also shout out to this guy who scored that wonderful chipped lobbed goal we made history we qualified to the knockout stages with hungary which hasn't happened since the 1980s absolutely brilliant achievement and it will be a showdown against argentina if we get a draw or a win we win the group and this will be the ultimate test argentina against hungary the reigning world champions but man Messi is not in the squad for Argentina, but they still have a world-class team. Let's see what we can do against them. And I will be honest, when the World Cup draw was made, this was the game that I was looking forward to the most. To lock horns and to rub shoulders with the world champions Argentina is really, really special and I'm looking forward to it. Dybala. Oh no, Dybala! Really vital interception here. That's a great Why? Oh, I couldn't see the ball there. one to Romero. Lautaro Martinez scores. No, but it's offside! Yes! Martinez. <laughs> Dybala, Martinez! It's 1-0. I couldn't switch to the right player and it was coming. This is a completely different level. Argentina are so so good that they are they are world champions. What can you say? I wanted to switch to Kerkes, but I just couldn't. Oh no. Lautaro Martinez to Dybala! Good save, Gulachi. Gosdog! Two! Neymar! Straight at Martinez! Come on, Neymar! Oh boy, Gonzalez, Gulachi. Love that. Are you kidding? Oh no! Sorry! And a cut! What? <laughs> what is that goal? Oh my god! No! That is an absolute meme goal! What on earth? <laughs> I fell over Gulachi. Let me watch this. That's <laughs> I'm sorry, that is hilarious. Go on. So much like good touch. Ah, it's blocked.
Now how about the short corner? Gosdog. Gosdog, what a run! Why did you do why don't you shoot, bro? Uh oh Gonzalez. Enzo Fernandez. Velasco. He turns and ooh, it's wide. Good use of the ball. Summer Slay! Yes! It's another own goal! What goal the heck is this game? <laughs> That is so funny, I had a cough. Oh my word. Soboslay smacks the bar, it rebounds in off the chest of the defender, and that's only fair. The game gave an own goal to us and then to Argentina as well. Farkash. To Column Styles, who is having an amazing game. And name it! And goes dog! It's offside! Unbelievable bad luck! Wow, but we are giving Argentina a game in the second half! Yeah, that is offside, but not by a big margin. And deciding to go short with this one. Now they stop them in their tracks. Go on, Neymar! Neymar! This might be the perfect counter Please! Shalai! Shalai, please! No, Shalai, why do you shoot straight at the keeper? Gosdok. Name it. Name it! He hits the bar. Unbelievable. We lost, but to lose to the world champions as a country like Hungary, we are with less than 10 million people. I think we can still be proud of this result. The performance was not good and uh, not great, I will be honest. Argentina outplayed us in the first half, but in the second half, I think actually we were the better team. Look at the first half. Argentina dominated for 40 minutes and then it turned and then it, we were the better team. But Argentina hit the, uh, the target 12 times. We only had hit the target twice. And our right back, Callum Styles, who is half Hungarian, half English or quarter Hungarian had a great game but this Argentina team you know no shame in losing to them and this is officially the end of the season we won the Premier League the community shield but in the other cups we didn't win um, so I'm a little bit disappointed with the season and the Liverpool board thinks I am the right person to take Liverpool forward so that's great to see so sadly Argentina has won the group we finished in second place and let's find out who do we get Italy and the Czech Republic qualify from Group B and France and China qualify that is the biggest shock China who haven't even made it to a World Cup in their history knock out Sweden and Ukraine absolutely crazy on goals scored they qualify Wow Spain in the end won the group Ghana finished second and in this one Germany and Portugal qualified so Portugal escaped uh, going out but the biggest shock, England, the previous Euro finalists have been knocked out by Denmark who beat them and Scotland won every game which is absolutely crazy that Scotland beat Denmark and England, what a story. And also Croatia are out and they have been recently doing very well in the World Cups so that's a big surprise as well that Romania who didn't even qualify in real life, real life uh, got through. And we get Belgium so we get a really strong team we could have had a Scotland but that was the only small team so we had a one in a seven chance to get the small side by finishing second and Italy are the luckiest they get China and this is going to be a big big round of fixtures Argentina Netherlands and Spain Portugal are the ties of the round and our team is pretty tired but Belgium have a lot of tired players as well we already achieved our main objective which was to qualify for the knockout stages and interestingly in the 2016 Euros Hungary played Belgium in the first knockout game we lost 4 near Eden Hazard played an absolute masterclass of game my objective is to play a close game with Belgium and let's see what happens welcome to the Belgium Hungary game the round of 16 begins the true knockout stage can we do a miracle and knock Belgium out let's try Callum Styles and Neymar oh my goodness Neymar hits the bar again Oh no, 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 that is a big mistake. 
Doku, Jeremy Doku. He was a big star for us in a FIFA 22 Liverpool career mode. And Gulachi, great save. Go on, name it! Oh, Courtois saves it! No, no. Oh no, Openda is in. Hopefully he can't score from there. Yes, he can't. Gulachi. Fires. De Bruyne is brilliant at shooting. And the Catalare. No, the brain what a goal! That little pass between my defenders for Kevin the brain is wonderful. And this is uh, what happens, you know, because Hungary are just, they are not on the level of the brain. The brain just ghosts in and you can't leave him on mark. No. Lukaku. The Catalara 2 0 straight away! That is absolutely incredible! We lost out the ball from our kickoff, which is a big, big mistake. And Belgium take full advantage. And this is a level now that is beyond us, I think. Go on. Farkas! Ah, that is a terrible shot. Farkash! Farkash! Courtois saves it! We are giving it everything! And instead it's Belgium who attack again! Oh no! Don't let Lukaku shoot! Openda! Another save, Gulacci! Oh, the Catalare! Great save, but Lukaku makes it 3 now. And that's game over. This is just a step too far for us to beat a team like Belgium. With this Hungary team, we have a really poor squad. We have a great attacking player like Soboslai, but apart from that, our midfield and attack is really poor. And Shaloui! Yes! At least we get a goal! Shaloui, the backup left winger, only 74 rated, scores a decent goal. That was a decent strike. Of course, it's only a consolation goal, but I'm happy that we score. Oh, what a save! Uh oh. Look at this. Are you kidding me? How did a center back squeeze that shot past Gulacci? That is ridiculous. I can't really complain with the scoreline because even a 4 1 win in this deserves for Belgium. No. No. Mertens! Five. This is a rout. We got destroyed by Belgium. And Mertens is a 20 year old regen player. Probably Dries Mertens is regen because he's a centre forward as well. That is a great goal. And I mean, you can you see how poor our backup players are. We had to substitute in Juhas, who is only 72 rated. Yes, he's 18 years old, so he will get much, much better later. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Go on. Shall we please? And uh, Shall we please? Shall we? Good save, Courtois. And just like in real life, where Hungary lost 4 0 to Belgium in uh, the Euros in the first knockout round, we lose 5 1. To be fair, we should have scored 2 or 3 goals. We had 12 shots against Belgium, which is a pretty good number, but we also conceded 5 XG, 17 shots. Belgium dominated the whole game, but we also had some chances. But yeah, it was just a step too far. And yeah, I'm happy that Charlois scored, but. Uh, uh, this guy, Vince Mertens, is the region of Mertens, probably scored. And De Catalare, who is now 87 rated, playing for Arsenal in this career mode, was the man of the match. And it's Argentina who won the World Cup. Lautaro Martinez is parading with the trophy and uh, that is brilliant. We lost eventually to the World Cup champions in the group stage. 
And Almada was the player of the tournament in the World Cup and also Martinez, the Argentina goalkeeper, was the goalkeeper of the tournament at the World Cup. And the biggest shock was that Romania knocked out Scotland, for example, Czech Republic knocked out France and China, that is the biggest shock of all, China knocked out Italy in the round of 16 and Ghana knocked out Germany. So there were a lot of like smaller nations in the quarterfinals and Spain lost to Romania as well that is mind-blowing what Ghana and China at least lost to Argentina and Brazil but Romania in the semi-finals and no way in hell did the Romania knock out Belgium that is absolutely insane and Argentina knocked out Brazil and then Brazil won the bronze match in the World Cup and thankfully it wasn't Romania who won the World Cup because that would have been so so unrealistic so Argentina smashed Romania in the World Cup final and Almada was the top scorer of the World Cup Haji, the son of the Romanian legend Haji, was uh, the second top scorer in the World Cup and Soboslai with three goals was actually up there in the top scorers charts just like Regic and Farkas as well and also Nkunku Fernandez finished in the assist charts at the top but Shalloui and Gazdag and Neymar both all got two assists each which is pretty awesome and yeah here are the top clean sheet guys in the World Cup and we are already trying to do deals for next season so I'm trying to send out this guy on loan he scored that brilliant chipped goal against Morocco I think and yeah I'm trying to sell some players as well and we get a huge transfer offer for Jude Bellingham from Man United but you know that there is no way I will sell Bellingham to one of our direct rivals in the Premier League so FIFA you need to send other offers for Bellingham and we also loaned out Calvin Ramsey to Real Sociedad on a one-year loan and what I actually might do this season is play Trenox Ronald in this defensive midfield role and play Livramento in the right back slot and I will probably recall Connor Bradley because he has been quite brilliant for us in the second half of the season he's out on loan at Dortmund and I will try to recall him when he gets some playing time and yeah Trenox Ronald alongside Fabinho, Declan Rice and Ugarte that would be a brilliant defensive midfield role for Trent and it's a lot more realistic this way I think so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this video have a nice day see you later goodbye